BCU fans, here I am with fifth year senior and tight end for the Boston College football team, Chris Pantelli. Chris, uh, thanks for joining us. First, I just want to go get right to it. Uh, obviously not the year that the BC football team expected, personally for you all as well as for the team. We'll start with personally. Um, got injured before the season started, broke the foot, um, had to miss the first five games. You hadn't been injured your whole career. As a matter of fact, you came into the season um, as the ACC leader with 38 straight starts. So uh, tell me what was going through your mind when you broke that foot and you were obviously given the diagnosis. You know, I, I guess it was just a, a stroke of bad luck. Uh, like you said, I had the most starts in the ACC. I guess somewhere along the line somebody jinxed me or something. I guess that had to happen. But when I broke my foot, I was down and depressed for a little bit. And then it kind of put me into perspective, like, this is football. It's just a game. It's not a, a life issue. So I kind of put the past behind me and decided just to keep working. And uh, eventually I knew that I'd be back for around the Florida State game. So uh, I just had to keep working and get through it and get into game shape. And uh, now here I am playing uh, against Maryland this weekend. Okay, so now let's go to the team. One in six, obviously not even remotely of what the team's expectations mm -hmm. were. Um, what do you think has happened so far this year? Obviously it's very disappointing. Uh, you know, we had a tough time getting off to a good start, and that, ha that was a part of what happened last year. We lost the first game last year. And I think it's always tough getting that first win under your belt. And uh, we kind of just got into a, like a comfort zone with losing. Like, you lose one game, it's like, all right, that's one game, and it's kind of going by. And uh, I think we got, like I said, a little more comfortable with losing. So now, uh, week by week, we just have to keep working and progressing and uh, find a way to win. It's, we had, uh, I know the last few games, some of the breaks haven't gone our way. I know the other teams have fumbled, and uh, it seems like they're recovering everything. And then we fumble the ball one time, they recover it right away. So it'd be nice to get a couple breaks to go our way. But, uh, you know, we kind of just have to make the plays. There's opportunities to make plays, and guys have to make the plays. And finally, my question is, uh, when you look to the pro teams, um, what are your thoughts on how the tight end position has evolved? I mean, especially when you even look at the Patriots right here in your own backyard with the Gronkowskis and the Hernandezes. Exactly. It's, it's evolved. It's not just some big, bulky tight end that could just stand there and block and get down the field and run like a five-yard route. Now they have to be – they're as athletic as receivers – they have to be able to not only block on the line, but block downfield. And uh, you just see what the progression that, and the, the success that the New England Patriots tight ends have had. And it's just, it's done a lot for other tight ends. Like tight ends are now like a, a high priority in the NFL. So I mean, what they're doing is good for me, so. All right, well, no. good luck against Maryland. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And Thank uh, you. good luck in your future career. Thank you very much.